Hey guys, this is Confistonator, back again doing another Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review. Today we're going to be taking, taking a look at Clone Pilot Goji. He is a very nice figure. I forget what wave he's from, and yeah, he's really cool, and definitely recommend you guys should pick him up. And in this video, I'm going to be going through the, all the pros that I really like about him, and some of the cons, so, as well as a unique comparison of one of the things he has, so. Um, unfortunately, we would normally start off with the packaging, but I do not have the packaging, so instead we're going to be starting off with the packings that are included. First off, you get this um, pamphlet with the other Star Wars action figures for 2010-2011. We do get the Galactic Battle Game dice, and, and we do get the Galactic Battle Game card that says Goji right here, and a nice still image of Goji right there, as well as a display stand with the Star Wars logo on it. Now let's take a look at the accessories that Goji comes with. It comes with this uh, DC-15A carbine blaster. Pretty cool. Which, I've been noticing a trend with Commander Wolf, uh, Heavy, and now Goji, that they all have the this as a secondary weapon, which is pretty cool. There's nothing wrong with it. I really like the blaster, actually. But his main accessory that he comes with is... Um, less colorful Z6 rotary cannon that Heavy comes with, so... It's basically the same exact thing as what Heavy has, but... Heavy doesn't... Heavy's cannon has, uh, coloring on it, so let me show you that. As you can see, we have the tan markings here. Compared to this. We have the tan here, and here, as well as... Right there. Okay, so here it is. Whereas this one is just completely black. So that's pretty cool. Just get heavy out of the way. Okay, now for the figure in question. Let me just put his cannon back. Okay, so, oops, uh, here's Heavy, not Heavy, I'm sorry, Goji. He's really cool, as you can see here, stands up fairly well, I guess you can say, but something that I don't like about him is what I'll show you later on, but he does have the this really nice uh, green monster looking design on his helmet here, with no fin on the top of his helmet. Just like all the clone pilots in the Clone Wars have. And he's got these two eyes on the left and right side of the helmet. As well as the standard phase one um, clone pilot helmet. In the back we have the uh, breathing apparatus tubes that go around to the front. And are on this little chest control panel. Which is really cool. And we have some great designs here and here. Which is really nice. And of course this design on the back of all clones. Um, so yeah, this missile of course does fire, like that. And that's about it. Now let's get on to the articulation of this, of this clone trooper. Just like any other clone trooper, he has, a, he shares the same sculpt as them, which it's a fairly good sculpt, I must say. They, I have nothing wrong with it. Except for this one, which tends to not stand up correctly, but he does right here. As you can see, he does have a, um, a ball-jointed head, uh, ball-hinged shoulders, ball-hinged elbows, swivel wrists, um, uh, swivel hips, Swivel waist, uh, ball hinge knees, and no articulation in the ankles, which is my main complaint about this figure. Just like Clone Trooper Heavy, he does not have any art ankle articulation, which um, which makes him stand up 
not so good, see? Falls forward. But, nonetheless, he's still a good figure. I don't understand why Hasbro would do that, because him and Heavy both have really heavy cannons, and you'd think that they are the ones that really need the ankle articulation more than any other clone, but they don't. Um... So, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I got this at Walmart a couple months ago and just decided to review it. So, yeah, definitely recommend you guys pick this one up. And there goes my camera again. And, yeah, so that's about it for Clone Pilot Goji. Of course, we have the thermal detonator here on the back. But that's about it. So, uh, until next time, this has been Kit Fistonator doing another Star Wars after figure review and please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I'll have some more Saga Legends and I believe one more Clone Wars figure to review so as well as another vintage collection so be on the lookout for that and then it's then I'll have a couple more uh, Star Wars Lego Star Wars reviews from rather old sets that are really unique and I'm sure you guys will like them but then after that, it's on to the summer set, so, um, yeah, on behalf of Goji and I, wish you to, may the force be with you, and see you later.